Hello, it is now day four of our mystery knit along. So you can see I finished my other uh, clues. This was day one, day two, and day three. And I am on the heel flap. I've already started my heel flap. I'm a little bit into it just so you could see it. Um, and what it's doing is it's creating these little ridge rows. They're called rib stitches. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do those rib stitches. So I started it already. Um, so you'll follow the pattern for the correct number of stitches for your size heel flap. And you slip the first stitch with the yarn in back. And then you do your first rib stitch. So you slip as if to knit, knit one, yarn over, and then you carry the third stitch on the right hand needle over the top. So it creates this little twisted, almost cable situation. Then you knit two, and then you repeat your rib stitch. You slip one, knit one, yarn over, and carry it over. Then you knit two, slip one, knit one, yarn over, carry this one over to the third stitch, slip one, uh, knit two, sorry, slip one, knit one, yarn over, and carry it over, knit two, slip one, knit one, yarn over, carry it over, and knit two, slip one, knit one, Oops, yarn over. And you do this all the way to the end. And your last stitch, you knit it. So now I have made it all the way across my heel flap. Heel flaps are knit flat. So then you are going to knit back across. Okay, so normally you would turn your work and purl across. I don't purl because I hate purling so much with the passion of a thousand suns. So I'm not gonna purl. So I'm not gonna show you how I could purl back, but what you would do is you would slip this one and Curl all the way across. So I knit backwards instead when I do this. So I, I am left-handed. So I just, whoops, I change the direction and then I knit across. Again, so I, on this row you would actually purl, but I'm knitting backwards instead. So, or I guess knitting left-handed instead of purling. But yes, you would purl back across. And then you repeat these two rows until you have reached the, the specified length of your heel flap, which for, I'm making the 56 version, 56, 56 stitch version, which is, um, so then I would need 14 slip stitches for the heel flap. So what I do when I count the slip stitches, I usually, I literally just count these crossy overs to see how many I've done. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've done seven. So I'm, I am halfway through this heel flap. And that's how I count. So continue working on this. Knitting backwards is challenging on camera. My hands are very awkward when I'm wrapping around, wrapping them around the um, tripod. So you knit all the way to this end. And then you're there. Uh-oh, something bad happened here. I'll fix it. And then Keep going until you finish your heel flap and then you follow in pattern for the heel turn the heel turn doesn't have any special stitches so if you have knit a heel turn before it is nothing new so i will see you here again for tomorrow for clue number five